We've had our current fire kit since 1999, but technology has moved on. When the time came to replace it, we listened to what our firefighters said they liked and didn't like about the current kit, looked at the changing role and hazards faced by our firefighters, and then drew up a list of requirements for the new fire kit. After a rigorous screening and selection process, four companies were selected to compete in the trials. We told the four companies what our requirements were, and in particular how we expected the fire kit to perform. All four then submitted their best combination of fire kit, fire helmet, fire hood, tunic, leggings, gloves and boots. But first they had to test those against stringent British and European standards to prove that it would protect our firefighters against the conditions that they often find themselves in. We then needed to make sure that the new fire kit would meet the requirements of both men and women firefighters when they're carrying out their day-to-day -day work. So in consultation with uh, a leading expert in ergonomics, we designed a series of tests that would enable us to see how well the fire kit reacted in both simulated and live fire conditions. Uh, this is the first time that any brigade has tested elements of fire kit in this way. 16 brigade volunteers ranging from firefighter to watch manager and representing a cross-section of ages, body shapes and sizes were selected to carry out the tests. Over a two-week period at Southwark Training Centre and the Fire Service College, they carried out a gruelling range of physiological and ergonomic tests on the potential kit. They tested to see how well the fire kit would protect them in extreme fire conditions, how comfortable it was to wear in different situations, how well they were able to hear inside the helmet and how easy it was to regulate their body temperature when working. Most of the exercises were carried out wearing breathing apparatus and compatibility testing was carried out with other specialist and ancillary equipment. Well following each and every exercise every volunteer was asked to rate on a scale of one to five the different aspects of the fire kit that they'd been wearing. But at the end of all of the tests and before the data had been processed we asked all 16 volunteers which fire kit that they personally preferred and every single one of the 16 said that they preferred the Bristol fire kit. Basically what they were trying to look at was the comfort that we felt when we were performing different tasks that was obviously fire related to on the fire ground and um, the fit so that if it they had to look at um, any ways that the fire gear would be make, creating gaps or um, like going, using different equipment and basically I think how hot we felt in it. It's not only about heat stress, it's about mobility, flexibility. It's very important that the gear fit well without it feeling too tight or rigid. I could quite happily go back to the station and take this back to all my fellow firefighters who ride the FIU and tell them with confidence that this is the best fire gear for the job. All the bits of gear, they all suited myself and just how I moved in it really, it was all very comfortable and you sort of forget that you're wearing it. This was by far and away the best piece of fire gear out of all four sets. To be honest it was really easy to, to see that the, the outright rental was this one it, and it was so much more comfortable, so much more lighter, you could move um, easier and it, it just had felt like it was a better fit. So overall for me personally I was, this was the outstanding winner. This gear fit the criteria, fit all criteria for me so I was very happy with it. The results of the firefighter trials formed the most important part of the overall evaluation, but we also evaluated other areas such as how the companies were going to make sure that the right piece of fire kit was in the right place at the right time, how they were going to maintain it, launder it and repair it, 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. Uh, we also looked at the environmental and uh, ethical issues of each of the companies and of course the cost of supplying the contract for a period of eight years. Of course, the firefighters preferred the Bristol fire kit, but Bristol uniforms won in the user trials scientifically. They also won in the other three areas, which were service delivery, uh, the commercial aspects, and in the cost. All of the service activities and contract management will be carried out by Bristol at their service centre in Bristol, and at a new service centre that will be built in London to service our contract. Service technicians will visit individual fire stations and care coordinators will deal with day-to-day -day inquiries. I think overall it was, it was really important that they asked firefighters who um, are station-based who are going to use the equipment daily to have the opportunity to come and try it. It's the first time, to my knowledge, that the Brigade have done this 
and selected fire gear that was actually chosen by firefighters. The new kit will be all dark blue and is due to be delivered at the beginning of 2010. The go live date is scheduled for February, March 2010. So, let's have a look at it. The helmet is the Galley S1 SF or the S1E larger shell helmet. It is made from injected thermoplastic with a face shield, eye screen and customizable front plate. The fire hood is the Eagle Technical Fabrics Hood ETF 20. The fire tunic is the Ergo Tech Action Coat and its outer shell is made out of Nomex with reinforced arrow shield elbow patches. The inner moisture membrane is made of Gore-Tex Cross-Tech Airlock. The Ergotech Action Over Trousers are of similar construction with fixed braces, an arrow shield center panel and Kevlar felt knee pads. The gloves are the Southcombe Firemaster Fusion Glove. They have a Carbon-X outer shell with a silicon coated Kevlar patches and a Gore Crosstech glove insert. And finally, the leather boots are the Jolly Firefighter knee-high leather safety boot with the waterproof inner lining system.